Say that shit. There you go, Meganium. Oh, I already have an idea for it. Yeah, you do? Do you think, okay, Meganium, Mega Evolution. Can you say yay or nay? Uh, mm, the reason I want to say no for Meganium is because of this guy right here. <laughs> oh yeah, they did get a, they got a little treatment. So I think some kind of regional form with Meganium is in order, but a Mega Evolution. I was, I was gonna say yeah, I see Meganium as a regional form. All right, Typhlosion. As much as I would love to, uh, no. Yeah, well, I mean, what can they do? It's already like it's already a good design, especially with his uh, Hisui. Yeah, fuck. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, Typhlosion. We love you, but nah for alligator dude i can already see it as a fucking like a uh, a water fighting um i don't know you see the arm thingy is like it's going it's kind of looks like uh looks like battle scars or like wounds yeah and like that. The, the, it's it's a detail you would find in a fighting pokemon exactly but still i would still think it's a no because if my logic too with the starters if one gets it they all have to get it in my opinion yeah, because they did that for Omega Ruby. I mean, Swamper, Sceptile, Blaziken, they all got the Mega Treatment. So if they're not yeah. going to give it to Meganium, if they're not going to give it to Typhlosion, they're not going to give it to Fur Alligator. Exactly. So that's an automatic out. <laughs> okay. Guess who's next, man? I don't fucking think so. Go fuck yourself. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, i don't know man you, you know what fur it is a pokemon stadium pokemon that's what it is to me i hear you i fucking hate that they didn't bring back the battle frontier man what the fuck were they thinking i, I know the delta thing was cool but man it really was i mean that was more lore but yeah nah, they did they did the battle frontier dirty all those fucking unique characters just gone Sorry for it. Frontier brain. Oh man, <laughs> you know this is good. It's gonna sound cheesy, but it's fucking Brandon, dude. Why he's got the regs? No, no, no. It's, it's not because of the regs. It's just because like the 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 history with like Paul's brother and shit. Oh, that guy! I love that episode, dude. dude that was one of the fucking best episodes of Pokemon in history, son. Uh, the, the motherfucker got his ass swept. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, dude. And then when fucking Paul finds out that fucking Ash won against Branded, oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? He's like, you beat it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, the, that took him like three or four times though. All right. Here's the. Uh, I think this was our introduction to shiny Pokemon with Noctowl, right? Boy, that's I. You know, it's funny because I, every time I look at this Noctowl, I feel like this is the shiny, and when I look at Ashes, that's the normal. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Like, oh. This almost feels kind of weird looking at it. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> But in terms of Omega, you know, I can see it, but I don't know if they'll give it to them. It kind of gives the brave, the Hisui and Braviary vibe too, as well. Oh yeah, fuck. That, that makes sense. What what Pokemon do you think we're actually going to be able to ride in that game? I don't even know if riding is going to be a feature, bro. Oh you yeah, know? I know because it's all supposedly taking place in Lumio City, and I, I just don't know how I feel about that, man. I mean, you're most likely gonna take a cab, bro, or even or give they give you roller skates like how it was in the game. Oh yeah, fuck, fucking Lydian. Fuck, he needs one, but Lydian needs it because, bro, he's just like outshadowed by a lot of bugs. Even like, I think even Beedrill's better than this mofo. <laughs> oh, shit. But at the same time, do I really want to get a fucking four armed freaking bug? Like, no one gets juiced off of that. It ain't gonna happen. Uh, man, I forgot Lydian existed. It's another one of those Pokemon. I, I feel bad for it, but man, it's... I mean, uh, dude, he has, like, not even good stats, like... I just don't see it getting a Mega. I'm sorry. Oh, here you go. Ariados. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I can already see it. I would love it, but is it realistic enough? I don't know. You know how I see it? When it mega evolves, it gets decked out all pitch black. It has the red um hourglass like for like a oh like a shit! It turns into a fucking black widow. That'd be crazy, dude. That's what I'm saying. Oh man! Well, if it could mega, that's what it would be. Next, Crobat. It looks already perfect as it is already. Dude, I fucking love Crobat's design. It's one of my fucking favorite Pokemon, man. To this guy, dude. Fucking Crobat is deceptively fucking big, dude. I know, right? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Uh, but, oh man, I, I don't think they're going to do anything with Crobat, if I'm being honest. 
That's what I'm saying. I don't think like he's already fast as shit. Oh man, you, you know what they could actually do if they did give it a mega? It's like you know the Green Goblin's fucking hoverboard. I mean, it's not saying it's not a bad thing. But I mean, look what they did to my boy, fucking Mega Salam. It's fucking super croissant. Oh no, but but that motherfucker was super competitive. Oh, that guy fucks. Yeah, Crobat's cool as fuck, dude. I like Crobat so fucking much, and I w I want to yeah, say yes, I but I don't think he needs it to be honest. Though. I don't think he needs it either, as much as I want it to. Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit Derpier is. Yeah, I think he can pull it off somehow wait what the fuck are you serious I mean look at Mega Ampharos no one asked for him but they gave him one they just gave him hair though <laughs> yeah I know fuck you know what I mean I don't know why this guy gives me the vibe that he's the one of those very few exceptions I don't I don't think so man well it fuck if you were on the Pokemon board and everybody was just voting their Mega Evolution and Lantern was on the projector would you say yes no i i think i would say no as well all right zatu i don't know uh it's it's i i guess i mean it could but i don't think it should i think zatu is it's a cool pokemon i think i remember watching it in an episode and it, it was so fucking mysterious and but uh, man uh, fuck I, I, just, I just don't think so man i just don't think so yeah, I was gonna say, I don't think it's on the end of the day. But anyway, Blossom. No, I think we already discussed this. Remember, um, what the Vile Flim thing? And not only that, it's a motherfucking stone effect. You forget that Mega Gallade exists. Fuck you. So the, the stone thing is back into play. I, I should don't give a fuck about it. Nah, I'm sorry, bro. I have to counter you. Fuck you, ratio. <laughs> no, be because e even then, we included Alolan Ninetales, we included Nido King, which is a fucking moonstone, bro. And what? Oh, uh, go fuck. <laughs> nah, bitch, we, we, have to, we have to start including stone evolutions, whether you like it or not, because of the existence of Mega Gallade. Man. I know, I completely forgot about that. I should have I caught that. Blossom is up for debate again. What do you think? It's fine as it is already, but it looks finished for me. Okay, so this design is, uh, it's basically reminiscent of Mega Gardevoir. It has the fucking dress. It's a little more cutesy. It's not going to happen in my opinion. What about this one, Azumarill? <laughs> Terror Raids. Oh, oh, yeah, fuck, I forgot about that. It was like almost game-breaking. Still is in a way, just with the right matchup. Yeah, shit, dude. And Azumarill's cool, man. We talked about earlier about giving Pokemon a buff, and it got a buff with being a fucking fairy type Pokemon. But in this case, it was a typing buff, and it was one of the most powerful and dominant typings there is. Yeah, it deserved it. Is it technically a Pikachu clone? Uh, yes, technically speaking. I think this is up there with, not on par with Mimikyu, but I think it's one of the better Pikachu clones. Mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of Omega, what do you think? But I don't think so. I, I think they would give it to Primarina before they would give it to Azumarill. And I'm sorry, Azumarill. No Omega for you, dude. Pseudo Wudo. You go first. I'm curious what you thought. think of this. I honestly think they're not going to do shit with Pseudo Wudo. Okay, so this is my reasoning. Pseudo Wudo is just mimicking a fucking tree, and yeah, I could see them giving them a like a grass edition typing, but man, it just at that point it would just look too much like Trevenant. Uh, it's true. Yeah. What do you right. think? No, I don't think so either. All right. Well, that's all we really need to say about Pseudo Wudo. I like Pseudo Wudo though. I, I think it it was cool, but no. This is one of the few rain setters there is besides like Kyogre, Pelipper. One of those like, well designed at its time kind of mods that, or if it's the theme of Gen 2. Uh, but no, 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 Mega. I, I just don't see it happening. What the fuck is this Pokemon's name, bro? I, I, don't, I don't even know what it, this is. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know what the fuck this shit was called. Uh, bro, you don't even know Jumpluff. Bro, Jumpluff is the most fucking whatever piece of shit Pokemon I've ever fucking seen in my life, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. Honestly, honestly. Mega Evolution for a fucking Jumpluff. Is it going to happen? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, bro. I think you said it last time. It, it's a Fero. It's another fucking number in the fucking Pokedex. That's it, man. You had one purpose. So that's just to fill the decks essentially uh sunflora it's crazy because i could think of something coming up with it like, oh, like it'd be a, 
It'd be a good fire uh, grass type. Yeah, they. You know, in fucking Scarlet and Violet, they did just give like Sunflora not a big part, but a significant part with the fucking gym. The part, the gym um, challenge, huh? So they wanted us to have Sunflora in mind. There's a rationale to why they put certain Pokemon in certain positions. Mm -hmm. As for a Mega, though, the actual fucking plant, they're tall as shit. I, I could see them doing like an executor like thing. A, they're gonna have big ass necks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, f f so Flora, I'm sorry, dude. I was like, sometimes we do overthink it as well. Yeah, we do over. Yeah, Quagsire. Quagsire, it's so derpy. Dude, I love Quagsire, bro. I mean, not saying I hated it, but it's just like it's the one of those I don't know, laid back, chill, fucking smoking that Zaza kind of mon. Uh, I think it deserves more of a, like an evolution, to be honest, too. You think so? Yeah. I think I so, too. I don't know how. It just feels middle stage to me. It, it does feel middle stage to me, too. It did just get kind of love. I mean, Claude Sire does exist. Yeah, okay, so Claude Sire is definitely its own entity. Any final thoughts on Quagsire before we move on? I think he's fine. Yeah, I think he's fine, too. We already excluded them. Okay, so the reasoning I put these here is just just because I wanted to clarify again that, hey, if one EV illusion is not going to get it, then why would the other? Right. So you can't oust one and just include the other. It's not going to happen. But what do we think right. about Slow King? I see a potential. But keep in mind, this guy exists. Oh, yeah, huh? That's the thing. Well, never mind. That shit's out the window. I want to say yes, and I could see it happening, but it, they just gave it a Galarian form, and ah, fuck. I'm sorry. No, I, I don't think so. What do you think? Pass. Like, nah, it ain't going to make it. <laughs> okay, what about this one, man? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just fucking skip this one. <laughs> Wobbuffet. He could. But. I think so, dude. I have such fucking love for Wobbuffet, especially because of the anime, man. One of the few Pokemon that stood a chance against, like, Ash's team and shit. If they guessed it right. If they guessed it right, yeah. I want to give it to Wobbuffet, but uh, bias aside, I have to say no, dude. Yeah. Fortress. Other than exploding, what else can he offer? I'm no kidding. I don't know, I don't dude. Know. I don't think so, because it's already looks complete to me, bro. It looks complete to me, too. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. I, I don't I don't see it, Fortress. You're cool as fuck, though. For sure. Grand Bull. What if he can get the fucking, um, the fighting type in it? Because it looks like it's ready to brawl, you know? Uh, I, I could see this one actually turning into a brawler. Like, uh, th they could do a lot with Grand Bull. Uh, yeah. It's literally uh, simple. Yeah, exactly. Technically, Quillfish. Evolves into exactly what do you think about overquill it's a bad thing they did a good job they improved it just barely they made a nothing pokemon into this and i think this looks fucking cool dude mm -hmm. so scissor doesn't count but cleavor is up for debate i feel like if they gave this a mega evolution it would just kind of look like a digimon at some point because it already kind of looks over designed in my opinion right I, I like cleavor it's cool it sold me on fucking legends arceus when i saw it but i don't, I don't think it's gonna get it dude yeah Shuckle. Okay, so the the only thing I could see them doing with this Pokemon is kind of a Hydrapple kind of thing. I knew it. I kind of see it. Yeah, yeah. But again, Hydrapple already exists. I, I don't think they're gonna give it a Shuckle, dude. Mm -mm. Sneasler. What the? F I mean, I guess you don't like Sneasler. No, no, no. I just wasn't expecting it. I was like, I don't know. I was expecting it like towards like Gen Eight era. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I, I, I just decided to include all the high Suian Pokemon right here because Sneasel is of this generation, and Sneasel technically evolves into Sneasler. Fair enough. I don't know, bro. It just it's literally an extended Sneasel. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I they do like that i mean but hey it is what it is okay okay so you know how i said all the high suian pokemon have a good shiny yeah i don't think this one has a good shiny it's like piss yellow <laughs> no, i don't think it's gonna get i don't think any of the high suian pokemon including ursaluna ursaluna just did get blood moon ursaluna yeah i was gonna say it ain't gonna happen it's already busted enough as blood moon <laughs> yeah fuck uh, Macargo. Mega camera wasn't a thing. He probably wouldn't. It's literally a volcano lava slug. Yeah. I feel like uh, Macargo is due for an evolution, though. I could see them doing, like, a Breath of the Wild fucking Tears of the Kingdom kind of thing, where it just turns into, like, another elemental slug. Uh-huh. But that's about it. 
This is one where I've had Octillery in the fucking back of my head this whole fucking time, dude. I think they could give this one a mega evolution. What would it be like? It would just turn into a fucking cannon. It's so fucking easy. It's like right there for them. Damn, but his fucking base speed drops a little hard. Yeah, I know. Because like, look, not every mega evolution is going to fucking be this. So it's not going to be a mega Salamence. It's not going to be a mega Ray. There, there's going to be some yeah. flops, bro. There's oh, going to yeah. be the B drills. <laughs> and this is one of them think so i because like when you look at it bro it, it's not a bad design i could see it happening dude i guess you kind of sold me on that uh delibird fuck no it's too holly jolly it's another one of those fucking mini game fucking pokemon stadium kind of pokemon that just gets relegated to that it's too gimmicky it's too christmas oriented it's not gonna happen mantine mantine would be tight mantine would be sick i don't see it as a uh, mega but i do see it as a gigantamax i don't know why dude have you ever uh played demon souls yeah, so basically, that thing is fucking humongous, by the way. That thing is like 30 times bigger than your, like, player character. Well, yeah. That's what I imagined when you fucking said that, oh, I could definitely see, like, a Gigantamax version for this motherfucker. Uh, but in terms of a mecha, I just don't think so, dude. Okay, so he here is actually my, uh, my favorite flying bird. <laughs> I, I've always had a soft Skarmory? spot. Yeah, dude, I've always had a soft spot for Skarmory. It's Skarmory is one of those mons where I thought it was introduced in another generation. Yeah, like, exactly, dude. In Gen 3, th that's when I thought it was introduced. You, you, when you go through, like, the soot and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, dude. We, I think we all have got bamboozled. But... Especially because I think Steven uses it, right? Yeah, he does, exactly. Exactly. I don't know what it is, but I could see them giving a Mega Evolution to Skarmory. Yeah, I see so, too. I think this is such a much better fucking design than Corviknight, in my opinion. I think I choose Corviknight over this guy, though, to be honest. No fucking way, bro. Oh, I fucking love Skarmory over Corviknight. I, I do not feel that way at all. Thank you. Corvin, it's like literally a dark night. Like, come on, bro. You know what it is? It, it's the fact that I'm a fucking hipster, dude. It's because everybody loves Corviknight. And Skarmory is actually kind of fallen by the wayside. It's kind of in the shadow of Corviknight nowadays, especially because Corviknight has Gigantamax. Okay. Uh, Skarmory deserves a dog given the green light for that. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I, I think so too, dude. What about Kingdra? I would love to give him one, but again, what can you do to it? It looks already at its peak. I think so too, dude. I think it kind of got more love when it was with Claire. Yeah. As the years go on and people kind of forget it's a thing. It should, but I don't know how they would do it. I honestly don't know how they would do it either. It's one of those fucking just timeless, beautiful fucking Pokemon designs, but you're right. Right. Don fan. It got I two paradox forms. Oh uh, yeah. Uh no, so it, it's a pretty easy no for us, I think. Yeah. Weird ear. Hmm. Cause this is technically an evolution of Stantler. Nah. Cause Weird Ear already looks like a mega if you ask. <laughs> yeah, it does, dude. I do believe this is the last high Syrian Pokemon we're gonna talk about right now. Uh oh. so it's a no. But Smeargle. Go oh, fuck yourself. Ah fuck. I, I just don't oh. see it, dude. I was gonna say, I don't see it either, but if it did, it could possibly as well. It's all in the middle, I guess. Okay, so this one is famous in the Pokemon community for a certain gym leader. Uh, I already know it is. Yep, called it. Maybe, but not really. Mm, maybe a regional variant? Like, they did Tauros, but Omega? I just don't think so, dude. Yeah. Alright, pretty simple, to the point. Blissey? I think Blissey is just too... OP? Yeah, I think, I think it's just too fucking dense. It's too fucking imposing already. Yeah. Uh, okay. Blissey, you're cool, but no. Uh, Raikou. It just got a fucking, uh, Paradox. It just got Raging Bolt. What about Entei, though? And same for the rest of the whole trio. Gouging Fire. Yeah. Suicune. Uh, which one do you think was the best from the bunch? I was just gonna ask you that, too, actually. Oh, uh, dude. Uh, Paradox? Regular. Paradox. Suicune's Paradox did it good. Walking it Wake, right? Yeah. I mean, at first I was like, weird? Yeah, I thought that was whack as fuck at first, but it, it grew on me. And after the rest of them, I'm like, you know what? I, I, perhaps I treated you too harshly. The most competitive one is Raging Bolt for sure, though. Oh, yeah, for sure. Teams love that mofo. Oh my god, let me see the stupid clip that you got baited <laughs> for. No, it, it was this. It was an image, bro. Oh my god, you're such an idiot! I know! <laughs> oh shit, now that I'm looking at it, bro, fuck. 
<laughs> okay, shit. Come on, bro. That's the thumbnail's right there. I know, I know. Anyway, fucking shut the fuck up. Let's talk about Lugio, you piece of shit. Bro, they always be clicking people like us. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right, what, fucking, what do you think about the fucking legendary for the fucking region, bro? Lugia. Uh, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, that's it. No mega. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's gonna. I think it's gonna get something in the future because like Johto is regarded as like the best Pokemon games. Gold and silver and, and the remakes. Th those are the best remakes of all time. Like uh, re regarding Pokemon, I mean. For sure. Like Heart Gold, Soul Silver. It was so fucking good, dude. Right. Yeah. <sighs> all right. So let, let's talk about Ho. -Oh. Now this is the first uh. legendary we ever saw. Uh, it's gorgeous. Uh, I like its design already as is, but if it were to be like a mega, um, well, okay, granted, it's not gonna get a mega, but if I were to, what it could do is like its flames can be like wing dragon of raw phoenix mode. Oh my! No, I, I seriously think they have plans for Logi and Ho. I don't know what those plans are, but it, it's not gonna be a mega. Yeah, I know. All right, so we are at our last Pokemon, the mythical. <laughs> As we already discussed it earlier, I think this can get a mega. I see this bitch finally being a fucking grass fairy as it should be. I could see that too, dude. I remember that onion dying in my in Ash's arm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> I wonder, I could see like Celebi hanging out with like a Xerneas or some shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> like in a fucking Pokemon dungeon game. They're just like best buddies. Fuck yeah. I would give it to Celebi. Oh, well, that's it, man.